Edward, can you just tell me what landlord farming means to you as a concept? Uh, it's the ability over a long term to be able to generate good trust and knowledge um, in the local area with the local people who then hopefully will invest with you and then retain the business and just general customer client relationship management. Really. In terms of um, landlord farming, why would you, why do you do it and why would you encourage other people to do it? Um, it's the no like and trust really. I think that in the industry where there's so much bad publicity about how bad estate agents are, that long term consistency and continuity just gives that trust element which I think is so important because essentially you're dealing with people's biggest investment and so they want to make sure they're going to look after it, you're going to look after it and so you can't do that in a snapshot moment. You have to do it over longevity and realise that it's the long game you're playing. So you work with Chris, uh, Chris Watkin. <sighs> Why do you work with Chris? What is it about Chris that, um, that you get and, and why would you encourage other people to work with him? Ease of use, I think, is probably the best thing because we're also busy going out and trying to just keep up with, with everything that's going on. And I think the one thing that's good is having that consistency of new content that you can then regurgitate in different ways. So we, we use it in our TV show, uh, turn it into a PowerPoint presentation. We also have this blog post as well. And I think the hardest thing is having that time to be able to sit down, which is so important, to actually work sort of on the business rather than in it, but sometimes that balance goes off. So therefore, someone yeah. like Chris is invaluable to us because it allows us to do both at the same time. So it just frees up our time to do that and get that new content in.